Jinka, what is the agenda of the day? We are going to program a desktop application in PYQtify in which the user will enter the radius and the height and the program will calculate the area, surface area and total surface area. Okay, so are you ready for this? Yes. Let's do it. Okay, so the first we need to create a class. So we are going to name this class as app. So class app and the pass in its argument uh, Q dialog. Okay. Q dialog colon. Okay. And then I'll go and import it. Okay. So after import, you have to start the uh, initialize the constructor. So def underscore underscore in it self. So since Q dialog app is inheriting Q dialog, you have to initialize the init function of the super also. So super dot init. Yeah. Now set the title. So self dot title, any title, whatever you want. So since we are working on uh, cylinder, so better I write the three D geometry because cylinder is a part of three D geometry then self dot left where you want your window to be placed so i think the 10 not in double code yes 20 so 20 fine then your self top you set you can also set it 20 then you have to set the width and height of the window so yeah 400 fine and take the height as 200 okay that's also fine now self dot in it so in to initialize that we have to create a new function so this function name is self dot unit ui ui means user interface so it is done here now we have to design this function init ui so write def init ui okay now you set uh, the title of the window self dot set I just select it from this pop-up suggestions okay okay so self dot now you just put the self dot title here so we have the 3d geometry what you have created will become the title of the window now set dot set geometry means the first two are how far from the edges it is placed and the second and the third and fourth arguments are its size width and uh, width and the height got it yes okay now we have to think about the layout because we are using grid layout but at the same time we need to make a layout arrangement so we'll design another function called as create grid layout this is a function which we are going to define now create another object of the layout that is window layout so window layout is the object of not w q okay q v box layout okay import it yes then self dot you have to arrange this layout like uh, window layout dot add visit and the pass your argument like window self dot uh, horizontal box layout I think this one should be self dot set horizontal. Okay, we can correct it later. Let's see. From PYQT4 to PYQT5, certain changes have been made. So self dot set layout and uh, window layout pass this argument what you created just above. That is the argument of and this is passed here. So now self dot show. That's fine. This function I think. We are done now we go for create our grid layout 
So what we have declared in the above the, the in inside the init UI create grid layout. Yes, this is a function user defined function. You can name anything since we are creating a grid out. That's why we have named it create, create grid, layout. grid layout. So set horizontal. Okay, so self dot set horizontal group box equal to Q group box. And inside this you put the title of the grid like inside the grid the structure so we name it cylinder okay now you can import this so Q group box we have used here now layout equal to Q grid layout import this also Now layout dot set, set column stretch. Yeah, this is for the providing the better spacing and uh, stretching it to the suit the visits. So we need two columns we have. So we'll just provide one to four and two to four. Okay. Because in the grid we are using two columns in one structure. Now create some labels. So you create just like the label one equal to Q label and just pass the name of the label so first you write radius okay and then self yeah so since we have to create to so save the time and just copy paste it so that so we we'll create the text and all together so we need one label one text so one row of information grid is okay q line yes So Q line edit now just pass self okay now you copy these two lines and also import and after importing because we need four such rows so copy it paste one time one more two time three time and one more time okay four then name level uh, two that will be the height because we are receiving the height and the radius from the user so now name it height, height. and then this is txt edge this is the line edit now label 3 will be we can creep the volume or surface area whatever you find so surface, surface area. area okay provide space between them okay and then uh, this is txt s and then level 4 will be for volume yes now txt v you can name it okay this is done now we need two buttons so create the object of buttons buttons here are called as q push buttons button. and then pass the name or the text on the button so the first we are having clear button because we anything if it is done then clear button will create the text in anything stored in those text line texts yes now q button is for calculation so q push button and calculate yes okay so now import this one as I already imported now we need to provide some actions we can do it later also first let's see how the layout works so layout dot add visit and you pass label Maybe. then the grid position zero zero so first row is zero first column is also zero so zero 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 one one zero one one so the first we'll put the label and then we put text so first row will have the one label one text and that is one zero now copy and paste all these two lines three more times you can do four because we need two buttons also yes so this is label two and then the index will be okay label two index will be one zero 
वन जीरो नेक्स्ट वन विल बी वन वन इट इज जस्ट लाइक नॉर्मल एर इज वेयर द बिगिनिंग इज फ्रॉम जीरो सो द फर्स्ट इज जीरो एंड द सेकेंड इज वन सो द जीरो जीरो मीन्स फर्स्ट रो फर्स्ट कॉलम जीरो वन मीन्स फर्स्ट रो सेकेंड कॉलम ओके सो जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन वन देन वी नीड टू जीरो टू वन थ्री जीरो थ्री वन एंड फोर जीरो फोर वन बिकॉज वी हैव टू बटन्स ऑल्सो Level four, and then this will be V. Yes, for volume. Yeah, three zero three one. Okay. Okay, I think we need to just put two buttons also. Okay, there you have to put as B T N button. What was the name? B T N. B T N one. Bn one, and then make it four zero and four one. Okay. Button two, then four one. Okay. So we are very close. Our structure is kind of ready. Okay, so now we have to show function self dot um, horizontal group box. Yeah, and then the pass layout to this dot set layout and the pass this layout. So the self dot horizontal group box dot set layout and pass this layout. What we have created. This is our grid layout. now i think uh, we have to go for the main function so if underscore underscore name underscore underscore then space equal equal then yeah space is needed so then again single quote underscore underscore then main underscore underscore then colon and you create the object the name of our class is app so this is the object of this class so app equal to q application and you pass system dot argv so system is you have we have to import system dot sys dot import sys dot argv this is the argument of passing it is just like normal procedure then you create the object of App so e x equal to app a yeah a capital p v r small okay normal object nothing is there and then you use app dot exec sys dot exec okay app dot underscore app dot exec Execute the short form for execute. So sys dot exit app dot exec. Now just import the system. Import Q application also, and now I think we can check whether the app is ready or not. Oh, an error. Hot horizon set horizon. Oh, we have to make it set, set horizontal group box. Yeah. Okay, so now it's bug free, hopefully. Yeah. Yes. So now this is beautiful. This is structure is ready. You see the cylinder tag is also there. Radius, height, surface area, volume. Now we have to like uh, create some actions. Like the how the actions will be created. How the event like when you click on the button, we need our job to be done. So how to use that feature? Like the how to add dot click. Like the, when you user clicks on those buttons, then the job is done. So for that we will be designing two separate functions, and like button dot clicked, 
dot connect and then you just pass self dot this is the name of the function so this is the function clear function f u n you can write short form same thing you can do for the button 2 also because button 2 is calculate button and the button 1 is clear button okay now you create a function here called calculate and then we will be designing these two functions we will be receiving the information from the line edit texts and uh, then we will be working on them and we will get our job done so the two functions clear function and clear calculate yes so it is done here now we create the first function def then clear fun this is the name what we have defined with the self dot clear fun self means this is the part of a class yes. so now here see when we design we did not use some informations like we are accessing them from outside so since where you are accessing from outside now you see no pop-up is coming means this is not able to access it so you have to make all of them as self dot txt self dot txtr self dot button whatever widget you are using outside the definition then you have to all make them self then they will become the part of the class okay so just attach self dot r who, whatever you want to access from outside so we will be using all these line text edits two buttons so make them as self dot everywhere wherever it is txth just make them self dot means now these are becoming the proper variable of the class yeah. Okay, so just make all of them self dot before them. Yes, so make all of them as this dot text all everything will be just self just attach self there and this is done okay here also self dot button self dot button 2 Yes. Okay, so now we have to get the information from uh, this text R to self dot txt R and then you set them to empty string like the single quote only. Okay. Okay. Okay, now do the same thing for all because the function, the task of this function is to clear all the line edit okay so we have four such things txtr txth txts and txtv okay now this part was easier yes now just copy and paste it will save some time okay so in this one we have to fetch the data from the those line edits and then we have to do calculation on them so first change the name what was the name calculate okay then you store these values because by default everything is stored into those line edits are string so you store them in the values like the r for radius even if you do not write float just write r equal to okay and then we have to type cast so float and put everything in between the bracket so float and then yes and instead of the set text now we need just text so self dot txt r dot text so this will fetch the value from that txt r convert this into the float and then store it into the variable r which by default will become float type
yes. now do the same thing for height also okay, so remove and then make it height h and the name of this text linary text is make a small h okay okay line uh, is txt h yes it is txt h okay now we need because formula the formula that the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h pi r square h so you write math dot pi into r into h uh, R into R into H, R yes. square H, and then we have to put this information into the line edit design for the volume. So that's name is self dot. Also, you calculate the surface area also. Yes. S area is two pi R S surface area. Two pi R S. Yeah, we are only discussing the core surface. That part is two pi R S. So math dot pi into two. Into two. Into R into H. Yes. So now we have to put these values stored into the float variables for uh, volume and S area, and convert them into the text and put them back into those text fields line uh, line edits. So the txt v dot set text. Yes. Dot set. Text. And uh, convert this volume into the string. So S T R volume. Yes. So this part is done. Now you can do the same thing for surface area. Okay. Okay. So T X T S and uh, self. Okay, now to import math dot yes, you can click here also, or you can go on the top and write import dot h. Okay, I'll write it. I'll write it on the top. Import math. Okay, now hopefully everything is fine. Yeah. Okay, now let's run and check the application how it's working. So here it goes. Okay. Yes. Here the pop-up window comes. Now you just enter the radius. You can put ten. So ten into ten hundred. We can calculate like it will be three one four. Volume will be three one four, and the surface area will be some. Uh, yes. Now it's wonderful. Yeah. It's correct. It's clear also. It's working. Yes. Now we have done our uh, class for now, and then we'll do the design the next application in the next video. Thank you very much.